Aaron Barrett joins me now, guys. The Bearcat is in the camera well. Aaron, thank you for taking a minute. Now, last spring, you had one of the last lockers towards the non-roster invitees, guys. Now you're down towards the other end. You post a 2.66 ERA in your first taste of the big leagues. Good year for you. Did you have a chance this offseason to reflect on all that happened over the last 12 months and, and where you came? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, it was it was a heck of a year. Um, obviously, being from one one side of the locker room uh, now, um, you know, you know, getting the debut uh, win in my first appearance ever, and then making the playoff roster, and uh, it was a it was a great year. And I couldn't have done it uh, obviously without my teammates. Um, and uh, you know, it's just just a fun year. What do you, uh, we were talking the other day, and I asked you to pick out some of the the key points that stuck out in your mind. And you mentioned those first like 48 hours after you learned you made the team then you pitch on opening day and you get that win in the opening day uh game for this national team yeah i mean it was a whirlwind of emotions there's no doubt about that uh obviously you know being like one of the last guys in the locker room 48 hours later obviously uh you know, i'm pitching in uh you know city field uh, ninth inning and end up getting the win in my debut it's just uh i mean it was crazy but uh, a lot of fun now if we could there's another moment that i want to bring up from last year and i don't know if we're going to have a chance to get to it right now Here here we go. This is the standoff <laughs> in Colorado. You against the Rockies, Brandon Barnes. Give me the play-by-play -play of this and how it all went down uh, in, in your mind. Uh, this was not expected or planned by anybody. Um, you know, it was Jerry and I. Uh, we were standing on the foul line, and next thing you know, Latroy Hawkins is by uh, by himself on the other side. And you know, uh, next thing I know, I just look over, and I'm like, no one's around me. And I just ask a couple of guys, like, what do you guys want me to do? They're like, stay out there, stay out there. So I was going to do everything I could to, to stay out there because my teammates wanted me to. And uh, next thing you know, it was ended up being a lot of fun, and uh, I was just. Uh, I made sure that I was not going to lose that for uh, no matter what. So, I, I mean, it, it was uh, it was a blast. Now, you were a little bit closer to the dugout than Barnes, so you weren't getting as much grief from the umpire. But were you worried about what what might eventually come down if neither of you moved? I knew something was going to happen. Um, I mean, yeah, the, fortunately for us, uh, the way that we were lined up, we were kind of closer to the dugout. But for, uh, for Barnes, he was way up the line. Um, but, I mean, it was just I knew that it was not going to be good as soon as the game started. <laughs> for you this year, how do you approach uh, kind of the competition for bullpen spots? There, you know, Clip isn't here anymore. Soriano isn't around. So there, there are some uh, spots that could be available in terms of competition. How are you approaching that mentally as you go uh, through this camp? I'm um, just kind of doing the same thing I did last year. Um, you know, I know that nothing's given. Um, I just have to come into camp and uh, with a simple mindset and going and get getting guys out. Um, at the end of the day, uh, that's all that I can control. And, um, you know, where the cards fall, they fall. Um, but, you know, I just got to go in there and, and do my work. And, um, and you know, I'm just trying to fight my fight for a spot. He'll do whatever it takes, guys, including winning standoffs on the field with opposing players. Aaron, thanks for the time. Thank you.